Hey, I'm Andrea, and welcome to my imperfect kitchen. Today I am making today I am making Asian chicken lettuce wraps with a peanut ginger sauce. Sounds yummy, doesn't it? It is. So I'm gonna start by cutting up some chicken because they are Asian chicken lettuce wraps. So, I'm just going to take my chicken breast here, slice it up, get it into fairly small pieces so that um, when we fill our lettuce leaves with chicken, uh, you know, they won't be too overwhelming. Alright, little pieces here. And um, while that, while I'm going to come back to, and finish this in just a minute, because I'm going to start heating up um, some garlic and ginger paste, um, which this is a neat little trick that I learned from Artie Party, if you watch Food Network show, or Food Network. Um, all it is is ginger and garlic with just a little bit of uh, canola oil, pureed in a food processor or blender or whatever, and then stored in a jar in the kitchen, and then it's ready to go whenever you need those flavors in your dishes. So she says it lasts a few weeks. Um, I made this on September 3rd, so still good. You rinse my hand here from the chicken juice. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna take a spoon of this stuff and put it in a pan here on the stove. And get that going. So I'll take a few minutes to heat up while I finish cutting out my chicken. So, this is, um, you know, it's a pretty good, well, it's a very good high protein, low carb meal. Um, the only real uh, carb that's going to come into play is a little bit of honey in our peanut ginger sauce, and uh, that's only about a tablespoon. So um, it's very low carb, and since it's peanut butter and chicken, it's nice and high in protein. All right, chicken is cut up and move that back to my plate. Get this cutting board out of the way. Wash my hands again. There we go. All right, I smell this. Oh man, it smells so good. Since um, since there's a little bit of oil in there anyway, you can see it's not like greasy or really oily at all. Um, the oil is just enough to sort of hold it together. Um, so I'm going to add just a touch, just a touch of olive oil. Just like, just like that, just like a teaspoon if even that much of olive oil. Just to sort of get our pan nice and greased up for our, our chicken so it doesn't stick. All right, I think we're ready for our chicken. Throw that in the pan. And I'm also going to add just a little bit of soy sauce. Soy sauce is nice and salty. Probably about a tablespoon of soy sauce. That'll really bring out all those flavors from the garlic and the ginger. And of course it's uh, an Asian staple, so there you go. All right, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit so it doesn't cook too fast. And then I'm gonna start on the Ginger peanut butter sauce. Uh, here we go. 
Okay, so we have, and this is going to be loud over here. Let me turn this down a little more. Okay, food processor. This is just a little teeny tiny, I love this thing, look. It's just got the two little chop and grind. Um, I have a big, you know, like a big fancy one for big projects for stuff, but for stuff just like this, like a little dressing or just need to, you know, make something fast and small, this is perfect. All right, let me get this stuff out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Knife. We're going to start with, I kind of just threw that down a little bit. I'm um, going to start with two cloves of garlic. Two. Just going to give them a little whack with a knife. And then the skin will peel right off. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? In the food processor, peel the skin right off. Just like that. It's not even sticking to my fingers or anything. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Ginger. If you've never bought ginger before, do it. It's so yummy. It's kind of a pain to work with because it has this wrong knife. Because it has this um, skin on the outside that's not edible as far as I know. So I just take a little paring knife and go down the sides here. Um, you can freeze ginger. Uh, I do that a lot for, like if I'm going to use it in cooking, if you're going to use it raw, you don't want to use frozen ginger because it thaws um, kind of mushy, just like any other vegetable that you freeze and then thaw. It's chicken or chicken. Oh, it smells good in here. So, um, but it'll, it'll stay in your fridge um, as long as you don't peel it and just put it in like a Ziploc bag. Um, it'll stay in your fridge for a month or two or so I've read. I've never kept ginger in my fridge that long because I use it. Um, but it's, it's pretty cheap and uh, it's, it's so good. So, okay, ginger and garlic. I'm going to do about two tablespoons of peanut butter, because it's our ginger peanut sauce. I need a spoon. Spoon. Okay. Peanut butter. I'm at the bottom of the jar here. One tablespoon. give it a little tang. Put it on the lid. Look at my ceiling. Hopefully you didn't see my really dirty fan up there. Um, and give it a whirl. Okay, at this point, it's really thick. You can see it's really thick. So what I do is I just add a little bit of water, just to thin it out a bit. Making my chicken a little stir again. It's coming along nicely, looks like it's almost done. In fact, I do believe it is. It is done. Yep, all right, turn off the heat, grab a cup. Little water, just 
start with a very little bit. Just a, just a little, a little bit. If it's stuck to the sides, like it is right now. Wait, where's my peanut butter spoon? Did I lose it? Did I put it in the sink? Oh, it's in, <laughs> it's in my peanut butter. Okay, I'm just gonna take it off the sides here a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Don't wanna waste any of that peanut butter. hard and laborious and like take forever to taste good. I literally, pretty much everything that I make on a weeknight especially takes less than 20 minutes. This is going to take, what are we at? About 10 minutes here? Yeah, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but I just totally got, uh, whacked in the face by carrot strip. All right, look at that, carrots. Okay, plate. Plate. And look at these beautiful little lettuce leaves. They're from that living lettuce, you know, the kind with the root at the bottom. Makes you feel like you're killing a plant when you <laughs> take off a leaf. Yeah, I know it's not. Yeah. It makes me feel like I'm killing a plant a little bit, but but I'm gonna eat it, so you know it's okay. Look at our chicken. Look how beautiful that is. Mmm. Oh, I wish you could smell this. All right. So a little bit of chicken. And a little bit of our peanut sauce. You don't need much, just a little drizzle. In fact, I would call this six servings. Um, should be about six tablespoons worth of stuff in here. Um, if I had added just a little bit more water, which I probably should have done, um, we'd have a little more. So, uh, yeah, a little. A little, little more water, make it a little less thick. Um, but you should end up with about six tablespoons, which is, um, you know what, let me tell you. I'll tell you how many calories it is right now. I will. Uh, 46 calories per tablespoon. So, pretty good. And it's totally delicious. 
sprinkle a little carrot on them. Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna wipe this knife off real quick because I had some you know, garlic and ginger on there. Uh, got an apple here. Whew, I think I need to sharpen my knife. All right, little apple slice. I like to cut my apples like this because I think that they taste better this way. I, I know that's not really true, but um, I don't know, they're like, I just like it. Okay. There you have it. Chicken, lettuce, carrot, apple. It's like a perfectly well-rounded meal without any starch uh, and very few carbs. Let me taste this. Here it goes. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. I actually don't, don't even make it. I'm just kidding. It's really, really good. Um, it's peanutty and gingery. So it's a little savory, a little sweet with the honey. And then the crunchy from the lettuce and the carrot. It's really fresh. Delicious. Less than 15 minutes to make, I promise. Uh, so get yourself some ginger, some peanut butter, some honey, a little apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I swear I can talk. Chicken. Plus we have ginger, garlic, soy sauce. You're done. Dinner. Delicious. Enjoy. Remember, eat real food. Thanks for watching.